So hi everyone and welcome. I'm Kirsten Winkler of KirstenWinkler.com and today I got questions for Ali Yildirim, one of the co-founders and CEO at KoboCards.com. So welcome Ali to questions. Hi Kirsten. So just for the people um, who didn't watch uh, our EduQuest and uh, are not that familiar with KoboCards, um, just in a very brief sense, what are you doing? Okay, Kobo Cards is a collaborative, usable micro learning platform. Uh, Kobo Cards stands for Collaboration Cards, which mm -hmm. is based on the well known flashcards. Uh, on our platform, you can study flashcards alone if you want to, or with, in, within a team. So you write flashcards collaboratively and you study flashcards collaboratively so you save time when writing the flashcards and you always have someone to control you um, when you study together mm -hmm. so this is the main idea between uh, behind Kobo cards okay great and what's your take on that space in general as uh, I see more and more companies um, Coming into the market, of course, some just like Kobo Cards, um, been established now for quite some time. But why has it become uh, such an interesting space within the whole e-learning uh, market? Well, because I think um, the flexibility, the flexibility given by e-learning, is much more interesting than doing learning on the normal way, you know. So because the um, internet is advancing and getting more and more interesting and because more and more information are in, important, um, e-learning tools are getting more people attracted. Uh, so if you look at the possibilities, electronical devices like the iPhone, the iPad or the Android phones are giving to the people so you can study not only at home with your computer but also on the go for example makes it more attractive for people especially studying things like law, medicine, um, business etc where you have to uh, memorize a lot of knowledge for, for an exam for, for a test for example makes e-learning tools more and more attractive. Mm -hmm. Great. So then, um, as I mentioned before, um, I see quite some companies positioning themselves um, in that segment of the market, having various backgrounds. I would say if we take a scale, we have on the one hand those with a more scientific approach, on the other um, extreme the communities now also starting to integrate user-generated um, flashcards um, and Kobo cards, where do you see yourselves um, from one extreme or, or the other? So in what direction um, do you position yourselves or do you, do you head into? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say we have some pieces from everything. Mm -hmm. So, Kobo Cards is based on a scientific work at the, uni at the University of Aachen mm -hmm. in Germany. So, um, we focus ourselves also on user-generated content. So, we have a pool where users can share their flashcards with others. And uh, we also have tried to create a community using social media like Facebook, Twitter, etc. We have a forum, we have a blog. We try to communicate a lot of, a lot with our users. So, and they are also communicating with each other. The main thing what we try to aim is not to have just a tool where people um, study, but also a tool where you somehow uh, combine the advantages of having a social community and um, the must that you have to study. Mm -hmm. So if you do it collaboratively, you can chat within Kobo cards, for example. 
uh, we will introduce an activity stream like in Facebook where mm -hmm. you can see, okay, my friends are studying this and this, and oh yeah, this is actually what I want to study as well, so I will uh, join them to study together. So um, we always say it's somehow mixing Facebook and uh, an e-learning tool together so you can combine the attraction of social communities and the bad thing, which is for the most students, studying. <laughs> That's right. So that's pretty interesting and actually leads um, to, to my next question. Um, can you back uh, the, our listeners um, a little bit with um, why is it now somewhat proven that uh, learning with flashcards is an effective and efficient method to, to gain knowledge? Okay. Um, using Kobo cards is efficient because, as I said, if you do it within a team, you save up time, mm -hmm. you know, and um, you have controls, so you don't have to um, contr control yourself or double check your flashcards. There are other people doing this already, and some, and we always say uh, your fellow student is the number one source if you want to study because the most students even especially the younger ones don't want to s study with a teacher because he has a higher level of education and he always mm -hmm. says this is what you have to do and this is correct etc it's a different situation if you have a colleague of yourself mm -hmm. and who's a little bit more advanced than you and you are open-minded and you, you talk to him and you ask him, therefore it's efficient. If you talk to experts, uh, especially um, doing research in psychology, etc., mm -hmm. they always say if you put knowledge into small pieces, what we call micro-content, mm -hmm. and therefore I said Kobo Cards is a micro-learning platform, um, they always say if you put knowledge into small pieces, which is a question and an answer, which is usually on a very small flashcard. We always uh, communicate that you should have only some sentences on this flashcard so you, you have an effective flashcard. We nevertheless have students who put more or less a complete um, one pager on mm -hmm. a flashcard, which is not really effective. Because right. if you have to answer a question and you have a lot of information on the flashcard, um, you have to answer five, six, seven pages, and this is not effective. So people ask us, for example, could you not provide flashcards which are more or less uh, A5 mm -hmm. or A4? And mm -hmm. you say, no, because this is not the idea of learning with flashcards. And the most important thing with flashcards is to repeat them. If you just answer once, you will get it in the short-term memory, mm -hmm. but to build up knowledge, it's important to repeat this. And therefore, we have an algorithm programmed and an email push, which, like a mother, always says, you have to study now, you have to study. Mm -hmm. And if you do this and repeat the flashcards all the time and get them to the fifth box, we, we base our system on five boxes, mm -hmm. So if you do this and all flashcards are in the fifth box, uh, you can be sure that the content of this flashcard is in your long-term memory and you are well prepared. So Ali, you mentioned um, a few times already the Kobukas community and the collaborative uh, element. So now I'm asking myself, is uh, Kobukas, I mean it's kobukas.com, however I see a lot going on um, in German, so are you posi do you position yourself more as um, the German speaking solution in the flashcard space or are you international um, as a company? Well, basically we are international, mm -hmm. but uh, because we are based in Germany, we are more known in Germany, so um, more, pe more students from Germany are using Kobo cards, but we also have students from Singapore, the United States, from 
Australia, a lot of people are using Kobo cards. So um, our focus is not to just focus on one market, mm -hmm. but to um, spread the word all over the world. But because there are more uh, flashcard trainers in the U.S. market, for example, mm -hmm. uh, and, in and in English, um, people prefer um, nowadays to use them. But we are getting more and more people, and I would say uh, one fifth of our users are from uh, outside, outside of Germany, mm -hmm. and uh, growing and, and growing and growing. Because there is no other tool on the market offering this collaboration possibilities like Kobo cards. Awesome. So that leads to the big question then, of course, um, do you think flashcard learning in itself is um, sustainable enough to, to build a whole company around it or what we, for example, see in the language learning communities or learning communities in general, that they add it as an important feature, however, it is just one option and stays more or less a feature. So what's your opinion on, on that discussion? Well, in my opinion, it's, it's better to concentrate on one feature at the beginning, mm -hmm. and we are at the beginning right now, and um, to successively build an e-learning platform around. So I rather prefer a tool which can do one thing mm -hmm. very good and not a tool which has five, six, seven features and um, they are all, well, okay, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I would rather say just start with one feature and make it very good and this is what we get from our users. They say um, the design is perfect, the usability is perfect. This is very important for us that Kobo Cards is easy and intuitively to use, you know. We don't have a lot of people asking for support and this is a very um, important indication for us that people just go into Kobo Cards and we have a free version as well mm -hmm. so people can just play around with it um, and they say, okay, it's really easy. And even teachers and people who are, we have users who are 60 years old and uh, they all say, hey, great, this is easy to use, you know, we mm -hmm. don't need any information. And if people need uh, help, we have video tutorials where it is explained how to use Kobo cards. And, uh, of course, we will do more and more. We have, when we started Kobo cards, we had just had the web platform, and now we have an iPhone app, an Android app. We communicate with Facebook. We will have later Facebook apps, and et cetera, et cetera. So um, we don't say flashcards are the, a method which is useful for everyone. Mm -hmm. But what we say is just give it a try and look if it is um, good for you or not, you know. Okay. But for most yeah. people, it's okay. It's good. I agree, and uh, particularly uh, with the part that at the beginning um, – concentrate on, on one feature and do it really well and then build upon that. Although I am asking myself, um, as there's quite a bit going on in, in your space, will not in some months or probably some years then um, everybody having their own background and coming from uh, different directions, but um, won't there be then more or less all the companies coming to the same conclusions and adding more or less the same features? And we have a big, uh, yes, we, have, we will still have different solutions, but everybody is more or less doing the same. Yeah, I mean, that could be in future, of course. Um, every company I know which is in the sector of uh, e-learning, does his own focus. For example, um, using flashcards, the other one is generally having grammar or something like this, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's good to have this diversity because um, so every company concentrates on his main product mm -hmm. and at the end 
I don't know if, if everyone will be ex successful because if, I, if we look at the flash card trainer market, we just see a couple of uh, companies who are really successful with this, including us. Um, you know, after a while, those who really want to be successful and who really um, give effort to, to um, enhance the product mm -hmm. will stay in the market and the rest will have, okay, some hobby projects, will like some <laughs> right. hobby projects, yes. you know. And uh, the, ma the important thing is that you really are um, involved in this development of e-learning products and you are really sure that your company will be successful and if you do this you will always enhance e-learning towards I mean I don't know what the future will bring us but since we are on the market and this is for two years now um, we have changed our focus and our roadmap all the time and it's, this yeah. is exciting uh, I couldn't agree more, and I think it is safe to say that you at Kobo Cards have now um, succeeded in defining your, let's call it, uh, minimum viable product. So give us um, a little glance at uh, what uh, users and uh, us all, what will be, what can we expect in the coming months, to put it like this. Okay, what we started a few months ago is to have cooperations with uh, other startups um, working in um, e-learning sector like Lecturio. I don't know if you know it already. This uh, e-learning platform concentrating on e-lectures, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, S uh, synchronous lectures, you mean? Like live live lecturing? It's, no, it's not live lecturing, it's like videos. You know. Oh, I see. Okay, like video videos. tutorials and... Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay. And they also are quite successful with that. Mm -hmm. and, um, what, and we also cooperate with publishing houses, for yeah, example. Yeah, I've seen that. Because they have um, quality-proven content. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we want to build is the future will be to combine these e-learning tools. For example, I mentioned Lecturio. Mm -hmm. What we say is um, watch videos and e-lectures with e Lecturio, for example, read your books online and then study with Kobo cards. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I think is um, these tools will survive if they have a bigger concept. You know? Right. And our yeah. concept is um, to have good partnerships with other tools. We, ju we don't want to, as I mentioned, we don't want to do some other things, some other features, just to have them in our tool. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. say, okay, there are others who are specialists in video tutorials, for example. There are others who are specialists in uh, online books, e-books, mm -hmm. and there are others like us who are specialists in flashcards. Okay? I agree. Mm -hmm. So let's have a joint venture between these uh, startups and bring something on, onto the market where students just say, okay, if I learn with these three guys or these three tools, I will be perfectly prepared for my test. And that's it. Great. So then let me wish you the most of success for um, the coming months and years at Kobo Cards. We should mention the website. So that's kobocards.com, of course, available in, in different languages. Um, listeners interested in knowing more about you, where, sh where else should they go? Well, first of all, our, our website where we have a a uh, um, short video which they should have a look at and um, we all we have Facebook fan page, a Twitter account, our blog, our forum we have different um, The branding is always Kobo Cards, at Kobo it's Cards always. Okay, great. Yes, so they can contact us in any way, you know, so emails blogs, forum, where they want to give us feedback, we appreciate it
Perfect. So then, Ali, um, thank you so much. It was great um, talking to you today and um, hearing some of your ideas about um, this very exciting market. And yeah, it was a pleasure doing this interview today. You are very, very welcome. Thank you very much, Kirsten.